Ron is going to treat it like toilet paper. They're treating the Constitution as toilet paper. They've been treating it that way openly since 2001, since 9-11. They did it for a long time before that. Why don't we honor the agreement with the American people? Yeah, and they're talking about not funding terrorists. It's what Russell Means <laughs> said when his uh, "Where white men fear to tread. He said the American government broke every treaty with the Indians. He said mm -hmm. the Constitution is your treaty. Uh, white man, and they have broken every aspect of that as well. So let's let's reinforce the Constitution before we worry about enforcing an Iranian agreement. Well, I think that's probably the reason why they're talking about it because they don't want anybody to think about that. That's right. They can get us upset about. Yeah, they can get us upset about things that are foreign, so that we don't think about that. Again, we're here as part of the 28-hour live broadcast of the 2015 money bomb. We're looking for, we have a goal of a million dollars to help us reach 400 million people through satellite broadcasting. You've stood with us over the years, helping us to reach out to you, to reach out to other people. We appreciate that support. We're trying to get it to the next level. And of course, that level is to the satellite level. We're trying to reach all of North America, Canada, the United States, Mexico, uh, anyone who has access to those satellites. It will be free to air. You can help us by calling your local uh, television station asking them to carry our free-to-air programming, uh, the radio show, as well as the nightly news. But you can also help us to make this financial commitment. And that's why we're looking for a million dollars. Again, that number is 888-253-3139. That's 888-253-3139. Let's go to Joe Biggs. Uh, Joe, do you have any, uh, any questions or comments there on Twitter that you think are worth passing on? Right on. So thank you uh, once again, everyone who's tuning in right now to the uh, 2015 Money Bomb. But also make sure you go and check our auction items. Uh, one of the items right here, this will be raffled off. This is a Triton 10 AR-15 by Head Down Rifles. Now this has been signed by Alex Jones and myself. Now at 6.30 Central Standard Time today, it started. Anyone who donates $1,000 or more, your name will be entered to win this. We also have a signed guitar by Jimmy Vaughn. We have a 30 millimeter a10 Warthog round is decommissioned, signed by Alex Jones, some of his original artwork, and many other things. Now, also, I want to get to a few things that are on Twitter right now. Uh, one person asks, what are your feelings on people being sued for trying to live off-grid? I'll throw that to you, David. Well, I think that's absolutely outrageous. And, of course, uh, private property rights and our freedoms are under attack in a lot of different ways. Uh, we're talking about civil asset forfeiture. How they can confiscate people's property without due process, without you even committing a crime. And of course, they also use the idea of uh, local governments can create any kind of regulation that they want. Once they do that, we see this happening with bureaucracies all the time. The EPA, for example. Look at the situation in Montana where they came after that one individual. Uh, we're finding him, I think it was $75,000 a day. They got up to a tremendous amount of money. It was for, he had eight acres. He put on an irrigation pond on his land. They came after him for that, and then they tried to attach his wages. Just like we've tolerated with the IRS, these bureaucracies can accuse you of something. You are guilty. You have to prove your innocence to them, not with due process as it's defined in the Constitution. But they have their own courts, they pass their own laws, and they do their own enforcement. It's absolutely insane, and it's being done at the local level. And that's what you're seeing happening when they come after people for be, trying to live off of the grid. Right. Yeah, and they, oh, go ahead. They pushed that lifestyle pretty hardcore with, in the early 2000s. You know, get the solar panels, get this. And then mm -hmm. when people started mm -hmm. buying into that, it was so effective. And they were like, wow, there's not a lot of money coming in now because they're not spending as much in gas or they're not driving as far. They're carpooling. And well, you have to understand right. the grid is part of their control over your life. Right. It's a very, very important part of your, their control over your life. They don't want you and to, that's you want to have some type of facility where you're not type typed into their uh, to their power grid or whatever else. So it's not just a money revenue, but yes. it's also a control revenue. Because right. yeah, with a smart grid, they can call into your house and pretty much turn it off. And, and before we go back to Joe, I'll make one more comment. This is one of the things that I'm so concerned about. The reason I keep talking about uh, these driverless cars and the transportation control grid. We have a power control grid. We have a control grid in terms of de delivering water to your homes, uh, sewer to your home. We are going to have something that is far more pervasive than that, and that's going to be a control grid. That's what we have to really mm -hmm. be aware of so that we can stop that and fight against it. Go ahead, Joe. All right, here we are back at the Twitter station. Uh, at Orion1432 wants to know, please ask uh, you guys up there as well, if Ron Paul's isolationist policy will ever be picked up by Rand, 
or is it a toxic subject? What are your thoughts on this? Well, I was just watching the comments that Rand Paul had when they were talking to him about ISIS. He said, uh, civil wars are evil. Whenever we get involved in them, it's a, it's a bad situation. And of course, that's kind of a, you know, he was talking about how we needed to, uh, uh, to have a, a non-interventionist foreign policy. He was talking about blowback. I think we need to go farther. And I think he's not as bold by any means as his, as his father, Ron Paul, is when it comes to this. And of course, it was amazing to me to see Ron Paul talking about uh, Christian values of turning the other cheek of minding our own business and see him booed on the debate stage in previous uh, years on the GOP being excluded uh, from debate stages when he was doing very well in, uh, in the polls. And so that's one of the reasons why Rand Paul is doing this. Uh, I think it's a mistake. I think he should have uh, moved on. That's just my own personal opinion. He has to run his own campaign. Uh, I do believe that he understands, just as he just said in this uh, comment, that uh, we don't want to be involved there. He, it's a much softer sell, not as direct as, as Ron Paul would say. Right. I think he's trying to play it safe, but either way, they were going to tear him down. I think it's more important to be bold. I think we have to come out. I don't think there's enough time to dance around the issues. I think we have to, to say, look, don't talk to me about how we need to increase defense spending. Don't talk to me about the threat that ISIS is because you guys created ISIS. Mm -hmm. Right. Say it. Somebody has to have the boldness to say this. Nobody in the Republican Party can even bring it, uh, have the courage to, to, to say that about the, a, a Democrat president. Right. They're also gentle. Because they want to do it. Well, because as you can see in here, they're a lot more aggressive than they were last debate, but they're still not talking about a lot of issues that concern the majority of America. That's right. That's right. Constitutional shred of capacity for them to do Can you guys hear me? Yes. Yes, go ahead. Oh, yeah, there's a guy who just tweeted in. His name is uh, Marcel McDonald. He says, as a Canadian watching this, this is more entertaining than a WWE pay-per-view. I've seen better debates in high school. Now, this is coming yes. from someone up in Canada. I mean, yes. like you said, this is like watching WWE live. I mean, <laughs> you've got the you've got, you know, the Hulk, you've got the Rock center stage, you've got Ben Carson to his right, you've got Jeb <laughs> Bush to the left, and they're planning on this entertainment value once again. And that's why Donald Trump is doing so well, because he's been involved in reality television. He's been involved with the WWE. Exactly. And, this, all, of, all of these debates have been geared towards entertainment instead of getting to the real issues, yeah. how to get America back to where it should be so we can be back on top instead of this downward spiral that we've been in lately. It's reality television. And our, you know, to, to quote uh, Douglas Adams, who did Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, when in the last debate we saw Megyn Kelly aim her lip gloss directly at Donald Trump, and tell him how much he hated women. I mean, that was the low spot, I think, of all these silly presidential quote unquote debates or just speeches, but go ahead, Leanne. Well, I was just gonna point out how it, with wrestling, it doesn't matter who wins because both sides are owned by the same, yes. Perfect. same yeah. party. So, I mean, that's the same thing with the debates. I mean, it, yes. sometimes I feel like we get pulled into this as well because we know that it doesn't matter who's elected, they're just gonna be the puppet. Yeah, that's what we talked about on the uh, the show right before this, that it's a, it's a basically just a big pageant. Because I meet a lot of people and they ask about these type of things. And I say, yeah, it does matter at your local level, get a good sheriff, get a good city council. But when you get to this level, a lot of what's happening right now is far beyond your control. It's amazing to me. And I think one of the reasons why the Republicans don't get any traction on things like the Second Amendment with other people, or even on the one half of the First Amendment that Huckabee has been talking about, is because they're so inconsistent. They're so selective. They have gone through and selectively redacted the Constitution and the Bill of Rights, and they do precisely what they want to do. And so people look at this and they say, that's absolutely phony. You're going in and you're cherry picking a little tiny clause out of the Constitution or a little tiny clause out of the Bill of Rights, and you're ignoring the other 99% of it. I mean, it's like they've gone through with a big black magic marker. Again, we're, this is the 28 hour money bomb for 2015 for InfoWars. If you want to help to support our operation, that number is 888-253. 3139. Again, that's 888 253 3139. Operators are standing by. I think uh, Rob Dew is over there taking phone calls. You can talk to Rob Dew, perhaps, if you call in. <laughs> Fully motivated in the info war. I mean, it is outstanding. And we have another tweet up top right here. This comes from Jonathan Jackson, hashtag Moneybomb2015. Once again, if you want to ask us questions to get out to the crew out there, 
Use that hashtag, MoneyBomb2015, and we'll get your questions answered. It says, why does everyone except Rand Paul and Ted Cruz go into a full-on war orgasm over attacking Assad when he is actually fighting ISIS? Why does everyone except Rand Paul and Ted Cruz go into a what? A war orgasm. Into a full a war orgasm, war orgasm yeah, over attacking true. Assad when, when he is actually out there on the ground fighting ISIS. Well, that's what the uh, GOP has basically uh, based their appeal on, and that is fear. That's what the surveillance state is all about. They have elevated national security to a religion, and everything is subservient to it. The rule of law has been destroyed by our war on terror, just as the rule of law uh, began to be destroyed by the, the uh, war on drugs. They are always creating these metaphorical wars as well as real wars because that is the way they keep power. Look at 1984. There was a constant state of war that was being perpetuated by that because that's how you control the people. As long as you've got a boogeyman on the outside of the country that you can get people afraid of, they're not afraid of you no matter what you do to them. No matter how many times you stomp on their face, they're not afraid of you as much as they're afraid of the big bad guy that's outside that you keep telling them about. Well, just look at what's going on in North Korea. They're you know, always talking about, oh, Kim Jong-il, he's positioning his army and he's constantly doing the whole parade and this and that. And his his country is shut off from the rest of the world. So there he's just controlling his own people by constantly having them think, oh, there's a war. Oh, we better get ready. Oh, constantly in the state of fear. And that's exactly what's happening to us. We have all these boogeymen in Russia. Oh, Bashar al-Assad. And, you know, it's just... We got to wake up from this at some point and realize that these people are trying to send your children to war. For, Precisely. <laughs> for the and as, I believe it was Assad place. who came out and made the statement recently talking about all the immigrants leaving Syria. He's like, well, if you guys would stop funding all these rebels and these Al Qaeda guys who are here, people wouldn't have a desire to flee here. Flee from yeah. yeah. Right. It was in the uh, earlier debate that they had, they just had four candidates. And it's interesting, those four candidates who are at the very bottom of the polls got two hours amongst the four of them. Uh, but they were going back and forth. And Bobby Jindal was kind of on the attack. He was criticizing the others. Uh, one of the things that he said that I thought was very interesting, because they're talking about Planned Parenthood right now, whether or not they would shut down the government. Bobby Jindal said, if we can't muster the courage to shut down Planned Parenthood after what we've seen now, we ought to just call it in, just pack it in as a GOP. To which Lindsey Graham replied, he said, we can't do something radical like that because we'll lose the election. That's the kind of whore that Lindsey Graham is, and he is a political whore. That's the most repulsive thing I've ever seen. The man has no principles. We need to distinguish between principles and positions that they assume so that they can get the position of presidency. And I think people are really fed up with it. That's why they go with somebody, no matter how blunt, no matter how much of a braggart he is, someone like Donald Trump, because they are sick and tired of the people that are out there for their own particular gain. And I don't think they understand the personal gain game that Donald Trump is capable of playing once he becomes president. They look at this and say, well, he's putting up his money, his own money to run for this. They don't realize and they need to look at the people who came in here penniless, like Barack Obama went into politics penniless and now he's multimillionaire. The same thing with Bill and Hillary Clinton and so many of the rest of Many people. other people as well. Yes, that's the way they do it. And of course, if, yes, let's, uh, Again, this is the 28-hour Money Bomb. You, you can uh, send our comments, your comments to Money Bomb 2015. Joe Biggs is there. Again, if you want to support us, let me get that number. I just had it here. It's 888-253-3139. We're doing a 28-hour live marathon. This is part of it. We're covering uh, the debate here as part of our live coverage. Uh, we also have products that are discounted today, many products that are 20% to 15% off. Uh, products that are in shop uh, in stock. We have free shipping that's available for the entire 28 hours. So if you're struggling and you can still help yourself by getting a great product at a great discount and free shipping, it's something you can do to help yourself and help us again at the same time. And if you want to just make a donation, again, that number is 888-253-3139. You can also reach our store at that number and place an order for the products that are on sale. And don't forget the auctions in our eBay. Yes. Yeah. So you can go check that out on the infowars.com forward slash money bomb link. You can scroll down to the bottom. You can see guitars, other types of autographed merchandise we have. Right. Yeah, we got a lot of autographed things, microphones, guitars that the people have autographed here, collector's items.
And the thing I'm most excited about, whoever donates $10,000, you have to let them know that you're making the $10,000 donation specifically so that I can tase